Yeah, Chris and Mary, the Capitol here has obviously been bitterly divided politically, but if anything positive can come out of this shooting incident, it seems to be galvanizing lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle. They even held a bipartisan prayer vigil here this morning. If we don't play this baseball game and we go home, then they win. We're not going to let incidents like this change our way of life or our daily routines. Although Capitol Hill is still rattled, the game will go on. We need to play this baseball game. Roger Williams of Texas, who hurt his ankle diving for cover through a hail of bullets yesterday, will be front and center tonight. If you're not sure which one I'll be, I'll be the one coaching third on crutches. Republican members of Congress were practicing for that game yesterday when a man identified as James Hodgkinson of Southern Illinois opened fire with an assault rifle. On CBS This Morning, congressional staffer Zach Barth shared his harrowing tale. I saw him train his gun at me. Uh, everything around me started to pop. Uh, I got hit in the leg and, and decided if I wanted to live, I need to make a make a run for it. The 66-year-old gunman was shot and killed by officers, but not before wounding five. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise was shot in the hip and is still in critical condition. President Trump and the First Lady visited Scalise in a D.C. hospital. Afterward, tweeting in part, Representative Scalise is in very tough shape, but he is a real fighter. And he had this to say late this morning. Steve, in his own way, may have brought some unity to our long divided country. We've had a very, very divided country for many years. And I have a feeling that Steve has made a great sacrifice, but there could be some unity being brought to our country. As they try to figure out a motive, federal investigators are reviewing the gunman's online activity. He repeatedly took to Facebook to post anti-Trump rhetoric. Most members of Congress have no protective detail once they leave Capitol grounds. In upstate New York, Republican Claudia Tenney received this disturbing email, one down, 216 to go. A shaken Chuck Fleischman, Republican of Tennessee, said the privilege to serve is still worth the risk. We represent great people every day in this country on both sides of the aisle. Well, tonight at the game, everybody will have to go through metal detectors and bag searches at Washington Nationals Stadium before they can get inside. After the shooting, President Trump expressed some interest in going to the game, but the White House tells us the Secret Service simply does not have enough time to put all the security protocols in place for him to be there tonight. Reporting from the Capitol in Washington, D.C., Brian Conniebear, CBS 2 News.